Thanks to Brilliant for supporting my channel. One of the more overwhelming parts of doing research or just keeping up with fields like machine learning can be figuring out how to find out when new research that is relevant to your interests comes out. So in this video, I'll be going over how I keep up with research in my various fields without getting completely overwhelmed by the massive amount of new research that comes out every day. And if you already have a great system for collecting research, but you aren't totally sure how to actually go through and read a machine learning or any academic paper in sciences, you should subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for next week's video where I go over that. All right, so I would like to say that the main way that I get research updates is through some fancy Google alert or through a small group of people who share articles with each other. But the first and foremost way that I tend to keep up with the field is actually through Twitter. This is particularly helpful if you are interested in generally keeping up with a particular field. For me, that tends to be algorithmic fairness related research, as well as computational neuroscience, anesthesia, and particular researchers, because the people that I follow actually tend to post when they are you know, publishing new research, but also when they come across papers that are relevant to their work or that they just find interesting. And that's been a great way of finding both new research that has just come out as well as older papers that I'd never heard of before that have had some really interesting insights and implications for my work. Now, Twitter can obviously also be a little bit overwhelming when it comes to figuring out what's worth reading and who's worth following. So I would recommend making use of Twitter's lists feature. That way you can have a feed that is curated to exactly what you're interested in following or following other people's existing lists. If you look up researchers that you are interested in staying on top of, they often actually have Twitter lists of other people that they're trying to stay on top of, and that can be a really great way to be in the know about what's happening in a particular field without having to actually curate a list like that yourself. Now, the second way that I stay on top of research that's relevant to my field is actually through Google Scholar Alerts. And this can be really helpful if there are specific terms that you're looking to essentially stay up to date on. You can also follow specific researchers and get updates whenever they publish papers that get indexed into Google Scholar, but I personally use it as a way to essentially get news alerts whenever terms related to my research pop up in new papers. This can especially be helpful on top of Twitter because it will essentially let you capture both the people that you're already more intensely following in terms of really wanting to stay on top of the research of a particular group of researchers, but will also help you surface those papers from labs or researchers that you might not be as familiar with or that you might not have heard of before. The next tool that I use that I've actually been using for a couple of years now, but which is unfortunately shutting down, I believe in March or April, is a website called Meta. It's actually a website that was designed by the Chan Zuckerberg Institute and so after Facebook's recent rebranding, obviously they can't really use that name anymore, but it was a biomedical sciences research discovery platform. So you could essentially set up different feeds around different topics or researchers or keywords or journals, whatever you wanted, and it would curate feeds of research related to the stuff that you want to stay on top of and then send you either daily or weekly digests of all of those fields and would send you essentially an AI surfaced list of research that might be interesting to you based on the stuff that you've looked at in the past. I find that super, super helpful. It has definitely surfaced papers that I just wouldn't have come across anyway. It also goes through preprints, so if you're interested in staying on top of preprints, that can be really helpful. I actually used to get Archives Daily Digest, I believe, specifically for maybe two or three subfields of their CS category, and there are hundreds of papers in your inbox every morning, and it's just, if you want to spend time going through that every morning, go for it, but I had better things to be doing with my time than that. So Meta was a great option to service that. Uh, unfortunately, as I mentioned, they are going to be shutting down soon. So if there are other similar tools that you use, I would love to hear about them in the comments because I'm definitely looking for something to replace that. Last but not least, and probably one of the harder things to naturally come across in terms of resources, one of the big ways that I stay up to date with research that's going on in my field is just from people sending me papers. I think that there's a culture, at least within the research community that I'm in, of sending people papers that look like they would be relevant to their interests. 
And because of that, if I come across something that I think someone would be interested in, I'll share it. If someone else comes across something that they think I would be interested in, they'll share it with me. In our lab slacks, people share links to papers that they thought were interesting or cool. And I think that has been obviously a super great resource to keep up with what other people that I work with are doing, because we all do 8 million things. But it's also really helpful for, you know, someone sending you that paper that was published in like 1982 that you definitely wouldn't have come across because it's only available like in print in the library or something like that and having a way to get access to something like that that you just wouldn't normally come across. So as I mentioned if there are other ways that you keep up with machine learning or other related research I would love to hear about more tools in the comments. I am always on the lookout for other things. I also didn't mention this but I use Zotero in terms of managing all of the different PDFs that I have. I like it. I mostly like it because I don't like Mendeley anymore, but also always open to other recommendations for literature organizers if you have any. And if you'd like to expand your machine learning skills even further, you should check out Brilliant, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. If you've heard me talk about Brilliant before, then you know that it's an online interactive STEM learning platform built off the principle of active problem solving. The new year is always a great time to get a fresh start and to build new habits, and Brilliant has an ever-growing catalog of courses in math, science, and computer science that help you learn concepts by walking through them yourself in visual, hands-on ways. In fact, Brilliant recently updated a bunch of their courses to be even more interactive, which I really appreciate as someone who learns better through physical and visual intuition than through rote memorization. For instance, many people know the boiling point of water, but do you know how the salinity affects the temperature? Or if it does at all? Fortunately, Brilliant's recently updated scientific thinking course has this great hands-on experiment that lets you discover the truth for yourself, and it's just one of the course's many interactive exercises that let you experience the principles of science firsthand. To get started, go to brilliant.org slash Jordan to sign up for free, and the first 200 people to visit that link will also get 20% off the annual premium subscription. As I mentioned at the top, I'll be doing a video on how to read machine learning papers, or papers in science in general, next week, so subscribe if you want to get a notification when that video goes live. Otherwise, you can check out earlier videos I've done on how to self-study technical things, and you can follow me on my various socials below, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!